Hi, I'm Jim Doucette, Product Line Manager for Altiostar. Today, we're going to be demonstrating how Altiostar is partnering with Rakuten to deliver the world's first fully virtualized network. Altiostar is providing virtualized RAN software based on open interfaces running on disaggregated COTS hardware to build a fully automated multi-vendor web scale network. As you can see, this architecture uses a common infrastructure to implement all functions as virtual machines that run on a carrier-grade NFV platform. The RAN, EPC, and operator applications are all running on a common platform that can be deployed at different edge, regional, or central data center locations. The radio sites, as a result, have a very small footprint and can be fully automated. This architecture allows operators to add intelligence, quickly adapt the software for different services, and allows for automation to rapidly scale their networks. This rack of servers is a representation of the end-to-end -end network, which includes the DU, CU, and EPC, all integrated into a single fully virtualized cluster. The radios at the site are connected to the virtualized server cluster through a radio interface unit or RIU. Today, many technicians and engineers are involved in commissioning a site. Installation of the radios, provisioning of the software, and configuration of parameters are all manual processes. Zero touch provisioning is the answer. After the physical hardware is installed, the software takes over. No additional human interaction is required at the site. The auto provisioning process starts as soon as the site is powered on. From this point, the software takes over and the eNodeB is automatically instantiated and configured. So let's see how this works. When the RIU is powered on, the first thing it does is to send an up notification to the EMS. Next, the EMS notifies the OSS with the RIU and eNodeB ID. The OSS sends an indication to the NSO. The NSO tells the ESC to deploy an eNodeB at the GC. The VCU queries the EMS for its configuration. The EMS then queries the OSS for the eNodeB config. Next, the OSS sends config to the EMS. The VCU receives the config from the EMS and gives its config to the VDU and then the VDU gives its config to the RIU. Once the VDU, VCU, RIU, and radio configurations are shared, the sectors are automatically activated. As you saw from our demo, on the order of minutes, we had the entire site up and running. Now imagine the potential OPEX savings as this auto-commissioning process is used across tens of thousands of cell sites. Manual intervention is reduced, human error is prevented, and smaller deployment teams may be used. This is how Altiostar is leading network transformation to achieve web scale networks. Thank you for your time. For more information, please visit www.altiostar.com.